me right now live on the phone is Assemblywoman Jane Corwin, a Republican representing Clarence. Uh, Ms. Corwin, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So you called for Silver to step down almost a week ago now. Are you frustrated that it took until now? Uh, very much very frustrated because we've missed three session days. We've had to cancel budget hearings already. Uh, we've already you know, interrupted the people's business here, and he should have stepped down a long time ago. And as you know, he is, of course, accused of using his influence to pocket almost $4 million in kickbacks. And he's 70 years old. He said he expects to be exonerated. So he used the term stepping down, not resign. Are you hoping that he resigns? I mean, he said he expects to be cleared, so it doesn't appear he plans to. Well, I certainly want him to resign. I, I believe that his uh, still being the Speaker of the House has, has cast a shadow over everything that we do. But there's more to it than just that. It's important that he resigns because it's his resignation that would trigger the vote for a replacement. Uh, right now, the rules of the Assembly don't allow uh, anything to happen to him until he submits a resignation. So it's very important that he does that. Okay, got it. Well, Assemblywoman Corwin, thank you so much for joining me live tonight with your reaction. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you.